Let all the acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind. Should all the acquaintance be forgot and days of Langsign for old Langsign, my dear, for old Langsign. Talk a cup of kindness yet for days of long sign And here's a hand my trusty friend and just a hand of thine. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. In today's video, I am finishing up my kitchen and my downstairs family room with all of my Christmas decor for 2022. And I just really hope that you enjoy today's video and all the motivation and inspiration it brings you. I am also starting off my video making a simmer pot. And in my simmer pot, I am using some cranberries since they are in season right now some oranges just orange slices and then some cinnamon sticks it's very simple and very easy and it will make the house smell naturally scented and cozy and just warm in the house and I love that so much so of course I wanted to start that before I started decorating mm -hmm. So not only are simmer pots good to naturally set your home and make them feel more cozy and welcoming but they are also very beautiful with like the different fruits and colors and spices and extracts that we use in simmer pots they just really do create a whole nice cozy vibe and I love them so much I really do love working with them and including them in some of my videos because like I said they are very beautiful but but also just around my house because they just smell so good I don't always make a simmer pot but I do like to try and make one once a month or once a season um, just to really feel the vibe and just really embrace the new coming seasons So now that my home is starting to smell super cozy and welcoming, I am now going to start taking down my Thanksgiving decor and putting up Christmas. After I take down my Thanksgiving decor and I wipe down the countertop, as you can see, I am using a cookbook to kind of decorate with and set like the vibe that I want for the kitchen. Um, and I love doing this for each season. I love to change out my cookbooks and like the pictures in the cookbooks. I really do find that cookbooks are a great way to use the cookbook for recipes because that's what we buy them for but also just to display because they really do have some very beautiful pictures in them and some of the recipes also go with the certain season or holiday that we are decorating for.
now I have up my little display for on top of my refrigerator. I really like to keep it just simple and use some florals and then for the basket just put in some pine cones and Christmas trees or some dried orange slices. Just really trying to keep it minimal and simple. Someone said you I am now taking off all of the Thanksgiving decor that was on top of my pantry and then I'm going to switch it out for Christmas decor and as you guys can kind of see I have really gone with more of like a minimal style this year very traditional and very just one kind of theme just very very minimal and simple and I really love how all of the decor turned out for this Christmas year I think like I said it's just very simple and minimal but going with traditional colors but also adding in just some woods and natural tones to finish off the kitchen before I head downstairs into our family room I did want to hang this garland above our window above the sink we do have another window in our kitchen but I did want to just leave that one bare so I just hung up the garland on this window and I think it turned out so cute and it really touched up the kitchen everyone to enjoy standing up close by the Christmas tree glimmering light now I am downstairs in our family room and I am starting on my blanket ladder I always do love to switch out the blankets and the decor that goes with my blanket ladder for each season and just time of the year it really does make a difference with like the coziness and the colors so I did want to start off with my blanket ladder I'm keeping it very simple and minimal and just very light over here I'm um, just with some white blanket and then one of them has just dark Christmas trees and then I am going to throw some twinkle lights around my blanket ladder so it can light up at night that's always so cozy and so dreamy so I did want to do that and then I will also be putting some Christmas pics in the middle of the blankets just to spruce it up a little bit it's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Oh, it's such a charm Got you up in my arm There's nobody at the door You said I wish this will never be over Darling, it's time for your present Come over here Now it is time to get out in the snow Lighting a life with you and lastly I am throwing in this tall tree I really love how it looks with the light blankets on the blanket ladder Feeling from floor to the ceiling it is that time of the year drinking hot wine by the fire here on our own we got nothing I am now taking off all of the Thanksgiving decor off of this mountain shelf and I am now going to start putting up Christmas decor on it again traditional colors but throwing in some whites and natural colors with the woods and the browns and I just love how it all turns out of course I have to throw in a pop of red everywhere too because that pop of red really does scream Christmas and coziness and I just love it so much just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you I try to figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would and before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in If you haven't noticed yet in this video, I really do try to mix up all the different textured Christmas trees into my decor for Christmas this year. And I really love how all those textures and colors really come together and work well together. Like you're the one who 
a couple of other items that I really love using through different seasons and times through the year are blankets and pillows. Blankets and pillows, they really do make a difference when it comes to decor and styling. Um, they also are used very often to get cozy with or lay on. They are just always there. So I really do love sprucing up different blankets and pillows through different holidays and seasons and times throughout the years. Sometimes I But it's all I have You know we could run to a place where we belong But I need you there with me to go on I start decorating my TV stand I love to like take off all of the decor and then dust it give it a really good wipe down and clean and then I just lightly decorate the shelves um, since this is just the TV stand and we do watch TV here and there are lots of pictures um, there's not really much room to decorate all fancy and crazy with so I do keep it very subtle and minimal um, but also do like to add just little touches of colors especially like for autumn time and Christmas time for like spring and summer and winter I don't really care to decorate the TV stand it's just more of like those um, seasons that have more color to them for it's Christmas time a merry sound and the stars alight let us all rejoice when it's Christmas time and I hope again made new in the crowded streets calling Christmas time the ones we meet wear the warmest smile and from far away we hear bells that chime stating Santa won't be late and in our hearts, we will carry a song Heard through the ages from angels on high And honestly, the same goes for this ladder shelf. Um, I did not dust it in today's video just because I have to take everything off and the sun, well, honestly, there was no sun. Just daylight is starting to go away since it is winter time. Um, but it's mostly been cloudy, but still the time is like going by really quickly. So I did not want to dust it. I'll do that some other time when I have more time and want to. But I did just quickly um, decorate it. And same with my credenza, just quickly decorate it, but did not wipe it down. I know it's really dusty, but that's just kind of what I did for this video today. I hope that it doesn't bug you too much since we are now past it but I just wanted to mention that now we are to the shelf and I do dust off the shelf because it is pretty dusty um, and it's more visible than the credenza and the ladder shelf and then um, I just put one of my little advent calendars for my son and put some candy in it and then I just decorate it a little bit over here on high let 
just gather round. How cute is this little cutting board with my son's handprint shaped like a Christmas tree? It is so, so adorable and I would cherish it forever. I definitely want to include it into my decor for this year, especially because we did that craft not too long ago. It's just like a week or two ago and I think it's just so adorable. Also, this is our Scout Elf truffles. Um, he told me he wanted me to fill up the advent calendar with some chocolates so Lucas can open one of the days for every day of December to get a little treat inside. A sunny day, but it's cold outside. It tingles in my heart. Breathing air that clears my mind. I'm all for a good start. I hear those jingle bells, people singing about love. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. And that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happier here, my winter wonderland I'm walking around making small talk with people that pass me by I share a laugh, it gives me joy that everyone's having a good, good time now that the floor is somewhat vacuumed, I am. we did set up my Christmas tree and now I'm going to start decorating it with some garlands that I made back in 2020. They were very simple to make and very easy. I actually have a video here on my channel. So if you are interested, I will leave that down in the description for you to go and watch. Um, but I made this dried orange and bead garland and then I also just made some wooden bead garlands and they are on my Christmas tree for this year and um, they actually have been for the past two years since I made them and they really do just make the Christmas tree look more customized and personal and just really tie it all together it looks so so cute um, and then we are going to start putting some ornaments on there and I like to just add some traditional ornaments and then some family personal ornaments and you will see Lucas put on a couple of ornaments in this video he is finally at the age where he wants to decorate the tree I mean he is two years old he will be three in February um, but he really enjoyed putting some of his ornaments on the Christmas tree and it was so cute to watch him Well, this is it for today's video. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I really hope that you enjoyed all of the decorating and just some of the footage of my son. He is so sweet and so cute and I just love him so much and I always love spending these holidays with him and of course decorating with him. He always gets so happy to see the new decor and decorate and just see it all put together. Um, but anyways, thank you all so much for being here. Please don't forget to like, comment, 
like and subscribe um, and I will see you all again next time bye friends I'm your life.